Hey, what's happening, gamers? Welcome back to James Bond 007 Agent Under Fire on K Wings Let's Plays. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and tell us your favorite Bond gadget in the comment section below. Mine's the Q Claw. The data you retrieved in Switzerland includes a file titled Damaged Goods. We believe this is a code word for Dr. Natalia Demescu, a scientist formerly in the employ of Malprey. Dr. Damascu escaped with a data chip containing information on something known as Poseidon. Fearing for her life, she has taken refuge in the British Embassy in Romania. There is evidence that Malprave has hired Carla the Jackal to raid the Embassy and kidnap Dr. Damascu. Bond, you must prevent her from being kidnapped. 007, I've secured a room in an upper floor apartment around the corner from the Embassy. You'll have to get past a sniper on the tree-lined street to get into the apartment. I'll provide you with a device that will allow you to infiltrate the embassy. Okay, so we need to find our safe house uh, in the Romanian embassy again. Night of the Jackal. Things are about to get interesting. Bond. Malprave is going to attempt direct assault on the embassy. Their target is Dr. Natalia Damescu, who used to work for Malprave. She has a data chip indicating the location of something known as Poseidon. Make sure that Dr. Demescu is not captured. Very well. well that's what I call a bad tour guide. Mm. Yep. Alright, so we've got to deal with all these terrorists and make our way back inside the uh, Romanian em embassy. Excuse me. Uh, okay, yeah, there we go. That's more like it. Whoa, what is going on? AK-47. I think the coolest gadget for me for Bond would be the, like, the car that has, like, missiles on it. Ah, you want to count the car as a gadget? Very interesting. Yeah. Okay. I do. I mean, I, I would call that a Bond car, <laughs> but, I mean, that's just me. <laughs> All right, so we have grenades. Bond. The terrorists control the front of the building and they've taken civilian hostages. You'll need to take an alternate route to ensure their safety. Obviously. Use the safe house on the other side of the embassy. Bang, bang, the bang. Will bang. Further instructions upon your arrival. Okay, I got him. He did well, a dramatic I'm death pretty fall. Sure I could, I'm pretty sure I could fit the car in my pocket as a gadget. I don't believe so. Ouch! Why is your gun golden? Uh, because we completed a challenge and it made our gun stronger. So, cheats are unlocked as you complete different bond objectives and get the most points and things like that. So, for the first couple levels, we did pretty decently. Well, not anymore, but ouch! Sniper to the face. Yeah, so as you complete the bond objectives, then you get more uh, special upgrades. Ah, That's cool. Much for my spider claw. I mean, Q claw. Anything else down here? Like some body armor or something? Okay, so there's a little bit of ammo. It's always good to scan the area after you take down a bunch of fools. Alright. It's time for us to be Spider-Man. Web, go for it! Go, go, gadget! Web! Yeah, something like that. Now, the only thing I don't like about this game, though, sometimes is the yellow uh, stick because Bond will fall off ledges and things like that. You have to be very careful with the controls when you're on, like, a tiny ledge because there's fall oh, damage in this wow. game. Objective complete. You're in somebody's room. Oh, no, you're not. You're in a hotel hallway. Next objective, infiltrate the embassy. Oh, Whoa. dear. Why did I just hear somebody say, ah? I think it's shower time. Oh, great. Not this again. Bond! Unbelievable! Is it getting steamy in here, or is it just me? Ah! The latest in holographic technology. I thought that would catch your eye, 007. Now pay attention. This ordinary-looking business card contains circuitry that will turn your watch into a skeleton key for digital locks. Its beam will disrupt any digital encryption. Quite clever, I dare say. Quite clever and DR. Wait, what? Yeah, we have a special new gadget. Although, that was Q? No, that's R. 
I mean, R, that's so weird. That's a, that's the uh, successor no. to Q. No, I'm completely disturbed. Well, I mean, he was just trolling Bond. Yeah, I know. All right, so... Yes, because a young lady would be showering during this warfare. <laughs> yeah. She wouldn't be hiding under a table. She'd be out in the open doing some uh, bathing time. Perhaps. Well, I guess everyone has to keep clean. So the golden gun gives you better ammo and stronger, like, attacks. Shadow, and you I like... believe you complete that by getting the, uh, the bond... Almost all the bond points in the very first mission that we did in this Ooh. game. Shadow loves being in the shower. No, she doesn't. Or the bath. This is like one of the last times you're going to revisit the embassy, though, but sometimes an agent under fire you do revisit the same levels to complete a different objective. It's saved on time and also- Whoa! Easy that, Mr. Tennis. Well, that guy shooting at you is a really high bitch scream. No, that- <laughs> There are hostages. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes, the terrorist uh, has a, a soprano. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh. All right, all right. Get your yuction. This is actually a really great Bond game, but its sequel, James Bond Nightfire, is fantastic. Sorry, you're bringing the class to this playthrough with, um, yeah, Sean Connery, and I'm, I'm, I'm messing it up. Whoops. Biesta. I guess that was the hostage. No. What did Damascu tell you? Did she make a copy of the data chip? Um, now we need to deal with all the terrorists. Wait, which ones are the terrorists and which ones are the hostages? Uh, yeah. The one shooting at us, obviously. Ow. Oh, there's a table you can stand behind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna use that for cover. That's the plan, anyway. I hate to shoot and run, but... Peekaboo. There's bullets for you. Ha, ha, ha. Oops, sorry. You just shot the hostage! He's still alive. Oh, my gosh! All right, I'll get up close and personal. <sighs> I feel we're moving a bit too fast, though. I hardly wow. know them. I'm sorry, it wasn't that bad. It's not really groan worthy, but he's okay. He's actually crying because he's wondering, why did you shoot me? You're supposed to be my friend. Ah, uh, he's fine. I thought you work for, like, the heroes or something. The heroes? I mean, he's a spy. And heroes can be good or bad. Like, whoa! You mean spies can be good or bad? Yeah. Okay. Well, let's hope that you're trying to be good. I just woke up. I'm a little groggy. Sorry. You're fine. Ah, yes. The kitchen. Kitchen battle. All right. I just hope that not there are no knives or fire involved right now. Um, there's... I think it's pretty dangerous. There are certain Bond games where you could actually interact with the environment, pick up knives from a kitchen and throw it at people and get additional points. I don't think... There are any knives or anything in this game that you can use? I, I'm, I mean, that's Goldeneye. Oh. Everybody asks me, "Hey, would you do Goldeneye?" It's like Goldeneye shows like blood and stuff, oh. and also, I mean, yeah, it's a heavily dated game, but I feel like it, it's a lot more tense than this game. This game is pretty good. It's it's not too long. It's about the. The runtime of a Bond movie, about two and a half hours. And there's not a lot of disturbing stuff except for that one terrorist that screamed like a little girl. Oh, again, that was a hostage. <laughs> 007, we've checked the embassy blueprints. They refer to an escape route to the roof somewhere in the rotunda. The only clue to its precise location is the phrase king and country. The terrorists are evacuating now, so you must hurry. Okay. And, the, and the fact that we accidentally saw R in the shower. All right, so king and country had to do with this. So now we're inside of a secret area. The name is Bond, James Bond. They've taken the data chip containing the information on Poseidon. And that's all you have to say? Wow, you have very little lines. Very well. I will see you around. Well, they did better on her character model than the other lady that you actually rescued, who was the main character. Oh, they make all the girl models look better than the guys. No, but what about the girl you saved at the beginning? She didn't look that great. Uh, you talking about the CIA agent? Yeah. I don't know. 
Maybe the visuals got better over time. Um, why is the elevator not working? Hello again. Why can't you have her as your co-star? I'm meeting you. Uh, she's just a random girl. There's lots of random girls in this. It's a Bond game. I see. I see. Is that what you, uh... What? No! Oh. Okay, so... I'm not seeing any other bad guys. I think... Yes, this is a boss fight. Well, well, the famous James Bond. Wait, that's all you have to say? The famous James Bond? Okay. I thought there would be something after that. Like, so, you think that you can just barge in here? Like you do at one of your normal jobs? Well, I'd, like to, I'd hate to uh, break it to you, James. But today is not your lucky day. <laughs> there we go. I wow. finished it. I I made it better. You made it better. Oh, we're dead. And whoa, then usually whoa, Usually you would whoa. add something about the encrypted, the special, like evil, like virus that's Black gonna guy be. Black had a blast. Uh, ah, ah, ah. The cloning virus that's gonna be unleashed on humanity, and there's nothing you can do about it. There were a lot of. Uh, nanite, like, type of virus things. Alright, so with her, all you have to do, this is a very easy boss fight. You just get her into harm's way and give her a little push. Another Wait. girl has fallen for Bond. Ha, ha, ha. Did you encounter the jackal? Wow. What happened? She's fallen for me. <laughs> you actually did that? Uh, oh my gosh. I guess you could say she wasn't a fan of that. Wow. Uh. Uh, James, I thought you were supposed to be the good guy here. I'm a great guy. I'm just bad with puns. You could have, like, given her a chance. Said, hey, if you stop now, we can end this. And we so, can go... No. So this, this Bond game has uh, pretty much everything that the movies do. It's got action, and it's got killer Bond puns when he does, like... Yeah, every time... A Bond kill. Then now that's the lady asking him stuff. That's not Monty Penny, then. No, that's Money Penny. No, that's, no, no. Or Money Penny. That's that, that was That was a bad girl. That was the jackal. No, no, I meant, like, the lady talking to you on the phone. That's M. M, M became a woman in the 90s. Oh, M! Yeah. Oh, yeah! M was originally not a, not a woman. No. Whatever happened to Money Penny? Money Penny is in every Bond movie. They just change her actress like after so many years. The only thing that I'm surprised about, Daniel Craig's, he kept the same M for his Bond movies. Uh, the lady, I think it's Judy Dench. I don't know. I think it is her. Right. So he kept the same Bond like M, but they changed Q to a younger man when. I kind of wish it was John Cleese still, because yeah. it, it would feel more connected to the Bond movies, oh, because yeah. it was the same M and Q for a very long time till they replaced M with Judy Dench. So, yeah. But she's still doing it. I think. So, that's really awesome. I don't know what to say about that. I mean, haven't found any information why, uh, why they would John change Cleese R? changed. Yeah. Why he didn't come back for the Daniel Craig movies. In her debriefing, Dr. Damascu informed us that Poseidon is a secret laboratory where Malprave develops her clone replicants. However, Poseidon's location remains a mystery. That information was on the data chip stolen by Malprave's henchmen. Dr. Damascu installed a micro beacon on the data chip, but it requires a special locator to read its signal. R has delivered a suitable tracking device to the local train station for your immediate retrieval. Our satellite reconnaissance indicates the helicopter pilot jettisoned the chip somewhere in the city before his damaged craft was destroyed. Malpray's men will undoubtedly be looking for it, so you must recover it as quickly as possible. Once you have the chip, you'll need to deliver it to R's field office on the other side of the river. From it, he should be able to discern the location of Poseidon. Good luck, 007. Naturally. Uh, I feel like so many people remember Q. 
And they don't really understand who R is, so maybe that's why they changed it. He actually takes the name Q in uh, another Bond film. Oh, well then, I have no reason why they changed it. Because just like 007, the data chip 007, has been ejected from the damaged helicopter. Retrieve the Q locator and find that chip. It's like a, uh, a secret identity name that the spies use, so I... there's, there's more than one Q over time, and there's more than one Bond. Although... Actually, there's not more than one Bond. There's more than one 007. James Bond is always, you know, that 00, but there was a 007 before him. Oh! But okay. how, how they got away with it is when Connery was uh, getting older and he didn't want to do Bond anymore, they replaced him with George Lazenby. who wasn't a bad Bond, but, you know, he was in a very compelling movie called In His Majesty's Secret Service. Mm -hmm. where Bond's wife is killed at the end, and then that leads into Diamonds Are Forever, and then it leads into Roger Moore's transition, and eventually Roger Moore is the one who kills the guy who killed his wife. It takes a very long time, though, and it just kind of is like the opening of a Bond film. Wow. Yep. I believe it was Blofeld who did it. I don't remember. Uh, yeah, I mean, like, I... I mean, Let's I don't know if they were way. trying to make Q, like young like or something but i feel like q doesn't actually i mean john police is like one of the greatest actors ever like i don't the guy that i remember playing q in the new bond movie i saw it and i no offense but i mean obviously he can't hold a candle to john police so I can't understand why they would replace john it police. doesn't make sense that they would replace him because they brought back uh, m to, to yeah. keep that consistency. The the so then they should have brought back um, John Cleese. We have precious little time. Maybe John Cleese asked for like one trillion dollars. No. John Cleese loved the role of Q. Then I think that they made a horrible mistake. I think that they planned on recasting everybody for the Daniel Craig movies, but they brought back Judy Dench for like uh, a, oh yeah. Now I that's what I call a rocketing good time. Well done, 007. Ah. Now go find I don't ship. really understand. You have little time before Malbray's men get to it. I mean, Judy Dench is okay, but... I like her as M. I mean, she's okay, but I mean, compared to John Ooh. Cleese, I mean, John Cleese is an actual comedic actor. I mean, Judy Dench just kind of talks in a English accent. Well, she's just supposed to be, like, Bond's boss. I mean... Well, that, she doesn't do much no. except for just read lines. I like her better than the original M, though. The original M was, like, too straightforward. And <clears throat> what was great about the Brosnan movies is the Brosnan... I feel like he was the perfect, like, modern-age Bond that was very similar to the original Bond. Yeah. Because, like, he would actually crack jokes once in a while. There were Bond puns. Yeah. He didn't take himself too seriously, but... Apparently, uh, Pierce Brosnan had a lot of kills as Bond, but also he was kind of like the Cold War Bond, so he was fighting Russia. So he would actually invade military bases and blow them up, so that's where you account for... According to online statistics, Pierce Brosnan has killed over 103 people in his four Bond films. Wow. And Timothy Dalton only did about... Mm, 40? But... I would say that Dalton's kills felt like they were more sadistic. Like, he puts one dude through a wood chipper. So, I mean... What in the world is wrong with him? I... I know. That's terrible. It's in the movie we'll License to, to Kill. That's awful. And, uh, actually, believe it or not, Roger Moore has the most, uh, Bond kills in a film. It's over 120 because he also blows up a Russian base. I just think that that's... I would think that you would get reprimanded for something like that. It's just awful. Now that's what I call smashing. I mean, you have a license to kill, but not license to torture to death. That's disturbing. You'll have to rendezvous with R-007. Our satellite indicates that Malpre's men are swarming out there. Exercise extreme caution. Okay. Right. I found just the thing. <laughs> Well, that's what I call a Cadillac. We upgraded. Uh, so you're saying that M is Judy Dench or whoever plays that I, right I'm pretty now, sure it's Judy Dench. I think yeah. it's her. 
like, she started with Brosnan? Yes, Goldeneye. Goldeneye is, if you love the Mission Impossible movies, you need to see Goldeneye. Goldeneye is, like, one of the best bomb, Bond films of all time. I don't know if I've seen it or not. I, mean, I haven't we, really seen a lot of Bond films. We might to be have it on Amazon. I always had a problem with James Bond not settling down and, like. The reason why he doesn't is because his wife got killed in His Majesty's Secret Service. Oh. And it, it ruins him. Like, how they explain it is if you watch the Bond films before he gets married, like. He, yeah, he's a cold, calculated, you know, spy. And Connery, like, according to his kill counter in his four or five movies, he took out about 65 people. Mm hmm. But again, like, war zone type things that he was doing. But, um, he was doing stuff for King and Country, and then he fell in love and got married, and at the very end of the movie, one of his Bond villains kills his wife, like, oh, in a, wow. a shootout. And after that, Bond becomes a much darker person. Mm. I would say he gets a little bit more levity later on as Pierce Brosnan, but... Wait, so he's supposed to be the same guy? Yeah, he's always supposed to be the same character, but kind of. But then why does he completely look so different? Except I think... I'm pretty sure that Pierce Brosnan is kind of a reboot of Bond, because I don't... He kind of was married, but I don't remember. Yeah, I mean, Pierce Brosnan and Sean Connery, I feel like, are the best ones that ever were. They're very close to, like... They also um, look similar, like... Con Connery and, um, like, Pierce Brosnan are the closest version to Ian Fleming's uh, written depiction of James Bond. Oh. Which, Bond is a book character first, and then he became a movie. Oh, I feel like the reason why most people, like, whenever I see commercials... I like what I see, Q. I, I feel like whenever people, whenever I see commercials for Bond, people are always saying that the, he, the, the thing that sets Bond apart from all the other movies is the locations. Like, all the locations they film at and stuff, like, all over the world. But I don't know if that has anything to do with it, but... Let's give Bond a tank! The reason why he has a tank in this game, too, it's a Goldeneye reference. Because in Goldeneye, yeah. you have a tank. Yeah. Like, this this game is supposed to be for people that grew up with Goldeneye, and then they were in college, and it's like, hey, you remember how fun the Bond games were? Well, here's Agent Under Fire for the GameCube. It's like an updated version of Goldeneye, but... What made this game so good was the Q claw and the multiplayer and the single player story is great, but like I said, it's not that long. I don't see this series lasting more than six or seven episodes, to be honest. I thought we got your dad like the entire Bond collection at one point for Um We did before the Daniel Craig movies, yes. He loves it. Yeah, but like was the first Bond Sean Connery? Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah, she was the original Bond. Oh, okay. And he did, uh, I want to say five or six movies. Believe it or not, Roger Moore is still the only Bond to do the most films of all time. Roger Moore did the movies through all the 70s, and then he did up until 1985? Hmm. All right, with this one, you need to uh, take out the train. See Wait, how it has- what? Yeah, see how it has those explosive barrels right there? Oh my gosh, you took out an entire train? I hope no one was on that. Good job, 007. R is waiting for you. Apparently, I didn't have a train to catch. <laughs> Smashing entrance, wouldn't you say? No, I wouldn't, 007. I've recovered the chip. With a bit of your handiwork, it should tell us the location of Malprave's secret lab. We'll leave that job in Zed's capable hands. Very capable indeed. 
Oh my gosh. Oh, I roll. It's almost like Bond cannot <laughs> see a beautiful woman without saying something awkward. Now you know why Bond has a. I mean, Bond wouldn't really work this day and age with like oh. the Me Too movement because he would. They would have so much like harassment charges filed against him. <laughs> Workplace yeah, I violations. Guess. I just feel like the women in Bond, like, they don't mind because he's such a freaking charmer that uh, they don't care. No, like, our, they, our, they all want him, basically. Our culture has changed quite a bit. All right. So anyway, guys and gals, that's going to do it for today's episode of James Bond, Agent Under Fire. We hope you had a blast. Ha! <laughs> and we'll see you with more uh, tomorrow. Stay tuned later today for more Star Wars Bounty Hunter and a stream on something else. Until we meet again, God bless and happy gaming. See ya!